Hi, Mark McPherson here with another one of my blogs in the series, 52 Blogs in 52 Weeks, with each blog being about one of my 52 types of people who are poorly behaved and at times downright difficult. And this week I'm talking about number one, the slacker. Now the slacker is the title I give to someone who simply doesn't do enough work. The end of the day comes, the end of the week, the end of the month or whatever, and simply the work hasn't been done. Well, I'm not enough of it and not to the quality that you want. Now here's one of the problems, and it's a major one. I'm surprised how many organisations and businesses don't actually have a clear idea of what is actually enough. Now I know this is really hard. I've worked in lots of places where it's pretty hard to determine how much work someone has done. But in other places, we should be able to do it. If we're talking about bricklayers, well, I don't know. Is it a thousand bricks a day? I don't know what it happens to be. Um, if it's in a call center, how many phone calls a person takes and how long they take with each call will dipper. But over a week, over a month, over a period of months, we should be able to get a bit of an idea what's an acceptable number of calls and how long the person takes to deal with them. So I know it's hard, but I think it's really, really important. Otherwise, when you come to confront someone who you think hasn't done enough work, well, really you haven't got much of a leg to stand on. So the slacker is someone who simply doesn't do enough. Now I reckon there's some subtypes here. One of those subtypes is what I call the escape artist. And this is someone who is most certainly in the office. They're busy, they're doing all sorts of things, but they're usually irrelevant things. And when it comes to the end of the day, they've done all sorts of things. Oh, they've tidied up the room, they've done this, they've cleaned their desk, they've done whatever they've done. But at the end of the day, we expect a certain amount of work to be done. It's not that these other jobs aren't important, they are, and thank God someone volunteers to do them. But it's how much time they spend doing them and how often. So that's what I call the, the escape artist, that, that person. They're off doing extraneous jobs a little bit too often. Another person uh, subtype is the shirker. And the shirker is someone who, for whatever reason, decides not to do some parts of their job. It's the manager who decides to do some parts of their job, but not actually maybe manage. Uh, some people decide to do all of one part of their job, but don't want to put any uh, documentation together or whatever it happens to be. And another type uh, subtype, I think, is the excuse maker. And these are the people who before you've even got them to do work, they're making excuses why they won't be able to do enough. I can't do it because of this, I can't do it because of that. Now look, let's show a bit of leniency here. Let's show some compassion. There are plenty of times when all of us, yes, all of us, have not done what we might consider to be enough work. But the difference between us not doing enough work and these people I call the slacker is that the slacker makes this not doing enough work a part of their daily routine. It's not a one-off occurrence. It's what they're known for. It's the way they operate. So, what do we do about them? Well, the very first thing I think is we need to be very clear about what our standards are. What is the amount of work and the quality of work we actually expect from people? Now that's hard, but I think it really has to be done. We need to work on it. The second thing I think is that it is, there's nothing wrong with actually approaching somebody, yes, with good manners, doing it politely, um, away from other people, etc., and explaining to them that you feel that the work that they've been doing isn't up to standard or isn't up to the quantity that you expect. Somewhere along the line, you've either just got to whinge about it behind their back or say to the person how you feel. These are the facts. This is why it's a problem. This is what you want in the future and why that'll be a good thing. Anyway, let's leave it there. Uh, this is a video blog, obviously, but I've also uh, written about it. Put the two together and I hope you get some benefit from it and I'm sure you will. If you want to speak to me about the slacker or any other type of difficult person, please book yourself in for a chat and wherever you are, whatever you're doing, please have a great day. Look after yourselves. Look after your friends and family. Cheerio.